Hello, I'm here with Laurel Hanscom, our program director. And I'm here with Mata, CEO and co-founder of Global Footprint Network. And today we have something actually very serious to talk to you about. I want to disclose that we did have conversations with Russia. In fact, a few months ago I was summoned to Moscow to have conversations with government people, NGOs, academics and business folks. And because they recognize that they're one of the big green giants, one of the top four countries in terms of total biocapacity. For those of you who are unfamiliar with biocapacity, biocapacity is the biologically productive area that provides all of the things that we need for people to survive. Mm -hmm. And our footprint then draws on that biocapacity. When we look at the Russian situation, they have quite a significant ecological footprint because they use a lot of energy and food and everything, but still they have more biocapacity. They still run an ecological reserve. Which you can see more details on the Ecological Footprint Explorer. It's our open data website. So if you pull up the graphs, you can see the difference between, over time, the difference between footprint and biocapacity. Um, but you can also look even further back at the USSR. That's an interesting comparison because back then they had a larger population base. Uh, so, and still, because they used energy so widely in some ways, their footprint is larger, quite significantly larger than their own biocapacity. But that changed in 1991 as the Soviet Union dissolved. They lost about 40% of their population base, but they retained a big part of their biocapacity. So overall, on a per capita base, they actually had about 50% more biocapacity per person, and so started to be in the green. But that green is shrinking over time, and that's concerning the Russians even now. So if this is interesting to you, you can check out more about Russia on the Open Data platform, or you can go to our main website and check out the two reports that we've done on Russia. It goes into lots more detail about what their ecological footprint and biocapacity situation. So stick around, we'll have much more data stories coming to you soon. Bye, we'll be back.